Well, new developments tonight in the death of an inmate at the Orleans Parish Jail. The Orleans Parish coroner says the inmate died from a cocaine overdose. Yeah, the sheriff's office says it's arrested one inmate and named another as a suspect in that death. Now, this comes on the heels of a new report critical of the jail operation. Winton Yates is live at the jail with the details. Winton. Yeah, that's right. That report talks a lot about the backsliding of what they say was progress towards compliance with reform in the jail. But local advocates say that progress isn't coming fast enough and a highlight of this young man dying of a cocaine overdose inside of his jail cell. 23 year old Colby Crawford had been held at the Orleans Justice Center jail since May 3rd, 2016, when he was charged with aggravated battery and domestic abuse with a dangerous weapon. February 22nd, 2017, Crawford was found dead in his cell. Today, the Orleans Parish coroner announced the cause of death, acute cocaine intoxication. And my question is, where is the supervision? I mean, where was the deputy? Why is this allowed to go on? And where is the introspection from the sheriff's office. Emily Washington is an attorney with the Roger and Solange MacArthur Justice Center who represent inmates in the jail. And she says she's disturbed to hear the details of his death. Our partners at The Advocate report that one inmate, Bradley Bright, has been arrested in connection with Crawford's death and 28 year old inmate Darrell Fuller is suspected of supplying the drugs. I've seen the gist that comes from the sheriff's office in that charge, um, you know, and it mentions multiple prisoners on the tier using cocaine over the course of multiple hours during the day. Crawford's death was singled out as a cause for concern in a recent report by federal monitors. It said progress towards compliance with a reform plan has regressed since independent administrator Gary Menard took over the day to day operations. Our hope with bringing in the compliance director was to bring in someone with that expertise who would also leverage other resources, subject matter experts to really come in um, and push for reform in these areas of security, health care. But with more reports of death and violence, they see that progress isn't being made. We did reach out to the sheriff's office for comment on this story, and we have yet to get a response. Live outside of Orleans Parish Prison, Winton Yates, Eyewitness News. Winton, thank you. And